we come to you now with a quick request for support for our World Charity Fund. Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Hello, Conditions everyone, absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation everyone, here. Please, surely welcome to the this field. is the Players. hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. Some wonderful scenes here. It is what we have come to know and love about Old Trafford, Manchester. Well, there are plenty looking forward to seeing this, a capacity crowd here. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. Well, if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Well seen, saw that coming. Gets his pass away, it's a pretty loose pass. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Uh, just too much on that. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Marco Verratti. <laughs> He's got great vision and passing ability and seems to be able to dictate the play in midfield. He also tends to develop a really good understanding with the forwards and just kind of senses the runs that they'll make. And I'm intrigued to see how he performs today. Well, he would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has. It's Gabriel Jesus! Paris Saint-Germain will certainly not want a repeat of that. Hakimi providing an outlet on that flank. And the finish! Keeper pulls up a fine save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Xhaka can get it clear. Arsenal can counter properly here. And it's Jorginho. Granit Xhaka. Zinchenko. Lovely ball into space. Looking to break out here. Out to the left it goes. That's a throw. Odegaard was only too happy to help out in defence. Well, it's not a surprise to see that these days, all part of a forward's duties. Zinchenko, Saka. And the counter-attack could be on for Paris Saint-Germain. Gets into some space. Oh, it's come loose. Chance to break. Zinchenko, nice little ball through. That's an untidy challenge, free kick given, quickly taken. And it's Shaka. Well, that tackle was certainly sturdy. Mbappe. Well, it just petered out, no penetration at all, having had a great deal of the ball. Partey, poor pass that, sloppy. That'll be a throw. Sergio Ramos. Fiddles it through, Danilo cuts it out.
It's run loose here. Shots on here. Decent hit! Now that is commitment to the cause. Oh, looks like he's been taken, and the shot! And that's been levered clear. And now a sudden chance to counter. Interesting ball. Now who's going to be first to this? He's found the way through. And he can clear it away. And it's played forward. Marco Verratti. Umba Umbappe! He's missed, but not by that far. A more than decent attempt, Peter. And they'll start all over again with the goalkeeper. Marco Verratti. Oh, good spread. There will be one minute at a time. Forwards and with intent. And there is the half-time whistle. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. I'd like to Had a grossing half, to but we're still where we started. Nil nil. Everyone, please welcome our players. Here we go again, then. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. And it's the goalkeepers to claim. Looking for the runner. And he's straight offside. Looking tidy in possession here. Neither of these two want to come off second best. Sinchenko going full steam ahead down the left flank. Jorginho. Threads one in. Jorginho. Granit Xhaka. Good running, strong and purposeful. Xhaka was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. No foul, says the referee. Saka, defenders on the back foot. Danger averted for now. The attendance for this match. I wouldn't fancy playing up front in these circumstances, to be honest. There's absolutely no supply. Well, that was well positioned and, and well pinched. They can't hurt with their backs to go. Nice ball, and he might be in here. Oh, nice touch. No, that's been intercepted. Sinchenko gets flagged offside. And it's Jorginho. Played out to the right. Oh, sweet feet. Jorginho. Good spot, he's seen the run. There's the hit! Oh, the ball's run loose here. And another time! 
it goes to show he is human after all. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. Marco Verratti. Oh, it's a promising build-up, this. Plenty of really nice passing. Well read, nice interception. Odegaard. It's a crossfield ball towards the other flank. And it's Verratti. Foot in. Jorginho. And that interception was most necessary. Passing is crisp and sharp. Paris Saint-Germain showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Mbappe stands up to a well and emerges with the ball. Well, they deserve an awful lot of credit for their commitment to the cause, but it's a goal credit that would be most welcome now. Odegaard. Oh, he's felt that, hasn't he? They'll kick themselves if that doesn't turn out to be the clincher. What a time to score. Perhaps deserves a little bit of sympathy here because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare. It's, it's clear that the keeper was unsighted by his defence and by the time he picked up the flight of that, it was too late. After 82 minutes is number 34. Paris Saint-Germain have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. substitution well, his stamina progress. was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. So we have our breakthrough. Oh, it was a long time coming, but I think it's fully merited. They've applied themselves extremely well. Steered out wide, but he won't reach that one. Paris Saint-Germain need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Mbappe! Can he finish? A collective sigh of relief from the defence. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Sends it forward. Odegaard. Sally Two added minutes has been indicated. He's left his man. Great ball if he can... And the shot! They've scored! Tying minutes and we're all square again. Yeah, I'd call that transition with bite. They won it back and, and bit hard. The goal scorer for Paris Saint-Germain. Number 44. So all square with almost no time remaining. 90 minutes up and we will be back for extra time. Well, there was very little between the sides all the way through, so extra time is the correct next step. Well, fitness this and fatigue, the key factors now as we head for Please extra keep your time. Eyes on your children during the match at all times. Substitutions taking place. 
Into extra time we go. Arsenal pay the price for failing to close out the match in normal time. Can they avoid the same fate here, where the consequences are still more serious? And it's hoisted clear. It's a pretty loose pass. Xhaka producing a good steal there, showing a good level of alertness. Look, it's a, it's a run defences dislike, but the timing has to be spot on. Oh, that's well spotted. Neymar. Neymar. Oh, he's trying to skip past his man. Oh, good ball, and this looks promising. And he's there to get it away. Hakimi in acres of space out wide. Gabriel gets it away. Now looking to orchestrate a counter. Over to the left. Saka. Zinchenko. Marco Verratti. Oh, great carry! Put it away! There's the whistle, and the first period of extra time ends on a dramatic note. Arsenal produced a terrific spell at the end there, culminating in a chance that their fans could not believe did not go in. Yeah, 90 minutes long gone, 15 of an extra 30 have also gone, and the search for a winner is still on. Truly, this is a punishing game on bodies and heads and minds. The outstanding question, the only question, is there still room for one last bit of drama? The hostilities have already resumed. This has been enthralling. So, what do the last 15 minutes have left? Renato Sanchez. Carlos Soler. Massive leap! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Look, the defending wasn't too clever on that last chance. The cross had to be denied. Fabian Ruiz. Oh, nicely intercepted. Gabriel Jesus, out to the right, and that has left him in a heap. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. There is a real tenacity about their defensive play, and it's up close and personal. And there's his chance to lead the counter. Odegaard. White. Oh, good read. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Clears it out of harm's way. There's the whistle, and it is going to penalties. Ah, it's a big well done to both defences for refusing to buckle under the pressure. Fatigue with focus is, is not the norm. And a quick announcement it has today, gone the full distance the and then such. It will be decided by penalties. Boy, you can feel the tension. Xhaka first in line. No, he's hit the crossbar! 
and the keeper knew he was beaten, so what a bonus. Neymar, perhaps the man you would pick for this moment. Keepers read that beautifully. Oh, that's a super save from the keeper. Odegaard is the second man to step up for his team. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. And so the captain steps up. He just did what he was asked. Jorginho is third in line. Pick your spot, don't change your mind, and the keeper should be neutralised. The third man in the queue. No, it's been saved! Oh, the keeper's done brilliantly to keep his eye on the ball and make such a great save. Arsenal looking to extend their advantage. Oh, he saved it! He was so focused there, fantastic save. He steps up to take the fourth penalty. He was always looking good there, nice penalty. And stepping up, the skipper. And the keeper's come up trumps. Well, that's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. So it's all on the shoulders of the keeper. That's it, it is done. So in the end, heartbreak. A few of them inconsolable. That is what football can do, and that is what football fate had stored up for them. It is nasty. Oh, this is so tough on the penalty taker as the heroes celebrate right now. It's a horrible experience, but they really should try and get those chins up. So thank you very Please much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.